day as we gather this morning, like every Sunday morning, we join our voices and declare together that God is good. And all the time. Amen. Friends, we do want to keep in prayer this morning all those listed in the bulletin. We continue to pray for those impacted by the fire in Maui. Uh, for those of you that might want to donate, there are a couple of options with details listed in the bulletin. I would mention that whatever is given through this church will go to our United Church of Christ conference office in Hawaii, and those funds will be distributed through and to United Church of Christ churches in Hawaii. To donate through the United Church, make your check payable to United Church, and then mark on the memo line, Hawaii Disaster Relief. You may be interested in knowing we have 119 United Church of Christ churches in Hawaii, 23 of those on the island of Maui. The information that we have uh, right now is that no churches were damaged by the fire, but, but there may be church members that aren't accounted for at this point, so our prayers continue. And of course, we pray for those impacted by and yet in the path of this uh, now tropical storm that's affecting the West Coast, and may we get just a little bit of rain out of it, please. We pray for all joys and concerns that go unannounced this day as well. And now as we do, let us turn and greet one another with our smiles and our waves. Good morning, one and all. And I do want to make special mention that our a dear friend and attendee, church member Shirley Cribbett, will be uh, leaving us, moving to Alabama with her daughter, Sheila Rooney, who is not with us this morning. So we wish you well, and our prayers and best wishes go with you, of course. And now join with me in this moment of silence, if you would, as we center our hearts, minds, and souls on the worship and praise of God. 